In today's Tactical Tuesday episode, I want to go over the worst case scenario. Many times as you play your games, you'll see your opponent has four bodies and you have three security left. Statistically, if you're playing red, a well-timed Gaia Force or some removal can absolutely hose your opponent's plan for lethal and game. Blue can bounce a Digimon back to hand. Yellow can DP deplete a Digimon. Green, suspend a Digimon. Black, no more attacks in general and purple, another piece of hard removal. These were common things that happened in the first couple sets of the Digimon trading card game. Until BT4 Great Legends. When playing in the colors of red and blue, you now have the option of hybrids, and in the safety with your tamers in the back, you could swing with everything you had, and if you had two memory and a tamer in the back, it was easy as hybrid for game. Hybrid for game would continue to be a thing with red and blue, until BT7, where everybody would have hybrid for game. Suddenly, when it came to having three bodies on board against three security with a memory fixer at three memory, everybody could do the same thing. Arguably, BT7 was a very grueling format for the fact that in conjunction with mulligans, it was a constant stun and chip with blue hybrid. But moving into BT8, all of that changes, and suddenly the worst case scenario is very scary. Now hear me out. This can take some setup, but say your opponent has Davis Motomiya, Davis and Ken, and a Stingmon and XVmon with EX1 Vmon and BT3 Demi Vmon on the battlefield. Your opponent starts with 3 memory, but with Davis and Ken, the memory bumps up to 5. Swing with XVmon, jamming, 1 check, let's say it survives. DNA into Pyildramon with the Stingmon, no Digivolution cost. Swing with Pyildramon, re-stand, jamming, draw one, draw another one, and gain one memory, one check. Swing again, one more check. That's three checks so far. Digivolve into Imperial Dramon for four memory. Trigger Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode's effect to play X Vmon and Stingmon from the Digivolution sources. And suspend Davis Moto Mia and Kenichi Joji to unsuspend Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode because it's a multicolor Digimon. Swing with Imperial Dramon. One check. That's another check, and at this point, you don't care if this Digimon survives. Four checks down, one more security, and lethal to go. And if you drew Pyildramon, you can literally DNA Digivolve those newly played X Vmon and Stingmon for another two swings. Remember, DNA Digivolution circumvents summoning sickness mechanic in the Digimon trading card game. Imperial Dramon is one of the most explosive decks in this format, and can easily eat all the security in one turn. Its only weakness, Mastamon. Mastamon can potentially have powerful option cards that can either 1. DP deplete Digimon to 0 via Hellsight and recover another security if Magna Angemon is in the trash. 2. Bounce the Digimon into the security, circumventing effects like Breath of the Gods and anti-bounce effects that normally prevent a Digimon from being sent to the hand or deck in the form of Chaos Degradation. Number 3. Destruction from Dead or Alive that plays a Lusamon Chaos Mode. While Imperial Dramon is a heavy hitter in the Digimon trading card game in tournaments right now, Mastamon and Rapidmon hybrid decks are great decks to counter it. But if you don't happen to play any of these decks though, this is where you have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Handing your opponent exactly three memories sometimes will be your best bet. But if they somehow capitalize on multiple memory gain shenanigans, you'll probably want to play this slow game and go over the bodies instead of going into the security. With DNA Digivolution, the worst case scenario significantly changes because even at one memory and two bodies, some decks can easily remove your level six, either by climbing into a Chimeramon to reduce the DP enough for other effects to kick in. Do you agree or disagree that DNA Digivolution has made the worst case scenario even harder to think about? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below for this short Tactical Tuesday episode. While a hybrid for game used to be a thing, DNA Digivolve for game is now another. This is Digipanda, logging out.